everyone. Welcome back to a new video. Thanks for joining in. Uh, tonight I'm going to do a wandering straight pour. I'm thinking I might wreck it. I'm not quite sure yet. I've got something in my brain. I don't know if it's going to play out well, so we'll see. Um, also, I'm going to show you the dried result to my pour that I did for Ukraine. I put it up on my Etsy shop and it sold in a matter of hours. I'm so, so happy. So I'm going to donate that to, um, as of right now, I'm thinking along the lines of the Red Cross, um, but there's so many charities that have popped up. So I'm going to do some research before I figure out which one I'm going to do it to. But all the proceeds, like I said, is going to go to charity. Um, it sold for $200. So I was very, very happy about that. Um, so after I show you the video of the dried piece, then I'll get you down on the canvas. We'll talk about the canvas size and the colors for tonight's video. All right, I'll be right back. What we got today is an 18 by 24 gallery wrap canvas. I've got it taped and push pinned in the back. I have painted my sides with uh, one of the main colors that I'm using in this pour today. So today I am using Amsterdam's Prussian Blue, Arteza's Pearl Pistachio, Pearl Papaya Orange, I am using this little piggies in the lakeside and this little piggies in the blue eyes. I'm using 24 karat gold and I'm using a combination of color of titanium white by Amsterdam and a little bit of deco art in the, I believe it's almond. So it's giving me a little bit of an off white. Kind of a color it's not completely white like uh titanium um i'm using mina's uh recipe for this little piggies where i'm dispersing the piggy uh powder into alcohol and then add mix these are nine ounce cups so i put about a tablespoon i mean a teaspoon maybe a teaspoon and a half of the alcohol and a giant scoop of the piggies and it came up with that consistency. The uh, two paints is about seven to one, seven parts of mix, one, one and a half parts of the uh, color. So this is the Prussian blue. And then I add a little bit water because the uh, piggies were a little thinner than just the two paints with the alcohol. So we're gonna need 50, about 15 ounces of paint on this canvas. I've got a beaker cup, again, it's got 16 ounces. I will more than likely fill it all the way up because I want to make sure I have enough paint for tilting. You can always tilt a little extra off if you don't like what you see on your canvas. So it's good to have maybe just a little bit of extra. All right, let's move this over. We're going to start off with the Prussian blue. Pearl pistachio. Those are two colors. It's going to look so pretty next to each other. Orange papaya. Some of the off white. Lakeside piggies. Some gold. Some blue eyes.
Prussian blue. So I think what I'm going to do is lay down a little bit of white here. So this has got a little bit of slide when I pour the paint down. Got a nice uh, blue that I'm gonna use as my flow extender from my uh, scraps that I've had on the table. Okay, so I'm just gonna pour straight across. some flow extender around. Let's go. Okay, this is really cool. The only thing I'm not liking about it, there's just not enough contrast. And so I think what I'm going to do is I'm gonna, well, I'm definitely going to re-pour and I am going to add a color and take out a color. So I had three blues. I think that's too many blues. Um, 
and the blues were just, they're kind of mixing together. The papaya got lost. The gold is really not, it's in there, but I don't know. Um, so I'm gonna remove a blue and I'm gonna put in Bordeaux red. So let me uh, do this quick mixing and I'll be right back. So let's try this again, see if we can get some contrast. Russian. Gold. Okay, so I'm gonna pour again. This time I'm not going to pour the same way. I'm going to pour and see if I can get fingerlings and I might not wreck it this time. Okay, so that's much better for contrast. All right, I don't think I'm gonna wreck this. I'm gonna leave this alone this time. All right, let's start moving this around.
Okay, much better. Needless to say, I'm gonna have a lot of paint to scrape off my table for adding to my flow extender buckets. Much, much better going back with the Bordeaux Red, creating that contrast. It was just too blue, not enough happening. Um, so I'm loving everything on here. So beautiful. I think what I'm gonna do is I wanna move this down just a bit. Okay, I'm gonna leave it there. Got tons of cells that are forming. So I'm seeing the papaya. I've got the Prussian blue, along with that lakeside TLP. Got the gold, of course, got the red. This is a much better composition. I'm loving this. So let me uh, clean out my edges here. I'll torch and then I'll bring you guys in. All right guys, I will uh, bring you up here starting in the top left. All right, everyone, I'll let you see this dry. I'll be right back. All right, here it is dry. Really came out beautiful. This is the, uh, wasn't necessarily the direct, the composition that I made, you know, I had it flipped horizontal. But I think it looks better here going vertical, so. So who knows, we'll see. I love it though. I'm loving all of the fingerlings. I'm loving the waves. It's really, really nice. So let me bring you up here and I'll show you the dried result. guys so that's gonna do it for this piece it's going up on my Etsy shop should be up there probably tomorrow thanks everyone for watching don't forget to like comment subscribe hit that notification bell that'll let you know when I do post new video content all right everyone I'll see you in the next video have a great day now bye bye